The experience we're trying to build with refueling is a bit of an interconnectedness between the players. It's the first player-to-player -player trade that we will offer in the game. Refueling is another support career that we think is very important for Star Citizen. Until now, ships were pretty much able to get fuel out of the thin air. And that was not the goal for all ships. That was supposed to be something very specific to certain ships that have that functionality. Right now, all of the ships that, let's say, are basic fighter ship, they're not going to have that functionality. They will have to rely on someone bringing fuel to them. In our first iteration of refueling right now, we sadly don't have the quantum beacon set up yet. So if you run out of fuel, you ask for someone in chat who owns a Starfarer to come by and refuel you. This person with a Starfarer needs to get fuel from any station. Instead of buying it into the ship's fuel tank, you buy it into the Starfarer's fuel pods, which can be filled either with quantum fuel or hydrogen fuel, depending on whatever is the need on the market. We do this through the current service app that we have updated. So the same way you used to repair and refuel your ships before, now you will have some extra controls that will let you uh, decide what goes inside a fuel tank. Once you have purchased the fuel and you want to adjust the price that the others have to pay for the fuel that you have in your stuff there now. At this point, the refueler player has to fly all the way to where the person is stranded, in the middle of nowhere, and the docking operation can begin. Once they have docked with you, they use the same mobile class interface to make a request for fuel. And we're introducing something called an escrow service that basically takes the money for the transaction and only starts paying it out as the transaction advances. So if for whatever reason uh, you either cancel the transaction or pirates show up and you have to do an emergency and dock, there should be no money loss as fuel is paid for as it is dispensed. Once the payment request was received on the Starfarer, you have to open the dedicated fuel pods that hold the dedicated fuel for that transfer and activate the nozzle. You have to remember that uh, the target ship will only take as much fuel as they have actually paid for. Uh, so if you, uh, if, you know, if somebody has asked for 500 units of quantum and you open the nozzle at full throttle and, you know, send 2000 their way, well, then most of that fuel is just going to spill into space and you're going to lose it. And so there's a bit of a, uh, yes, people want somebody who's very fast and efficient, but don't burn your own fuel. Once the entire fuel was delivered to the dock ship, the attached ship can undock and both parties can go their way. Right now we are still iterating a lot over the UI parts. What we don't want to do is throw all the data directly in your face. It should all be readable and accessible for all the players. As we keep delving further and further into other solar systems, we do not want to create this gamey thing where there's always fuel for everything. There's always everything you need. You might end up in systems where there is nothing. There is no civilization at all. There are no stations. There are not even people. There needs to be that scarcity of resources. And if you want to get a major endeavor going, you have to think of all the logistics of it. And fuel is one big part of that. Refueling is the next major milestone for life in the Persistent Universe and is making its long-awaited debut in Star Citizen's upcoming Alpha 317 release as we continue our journey towards Pyro throughout this year. And up next, a new way to traverse the surface of any planet or moon. Let's find out more about the recently revealed Hover Quad from Consolidated Outland. Yeah, yeah they can't buzz me now because everybody already knows. The hover quad is 
Uh, what do I want to say? It is an all-terrain vehicle. I've forgotten the word I want to use. Uh, exactly what it sounds like. Hovers. <laughs> so this is quite a bit different, uh, both visually and philosophically, to a lot of our other ground vehicles. Our other two gravlevs, both of which are armed and shielded, the hovercore has neither. It's much more focused on the ability to travel across the surface of the planet rather than start fights or bring a friend along. It's got an inventory on board, so anything small you find you can put on board. Because it's got a, a wider wheelbase, so to speak, or bigger grav levs, it's able to account for those changing variables over a rocky surface. Whereas something like the LOX, yes, it can go like a bullet in a straight line, but if it catches something the wrong way, it's going to lose stability a lot, lot quicker than the hover quad's going to. It's something we've actually had in the pipeline for quite a while. It was a nice little add-on that we did as part of the Consolidated Outlands Nomad concept development. The original concept for the Nomad was designed with the hoverquad in the back. So that was one of the big concerns we had when developing the vehicle was to make sure that it could in fact fit in the back and you can drive it in the back. A good sort of use case for this is you've landed on a planet in your parent vehicle um, but for whatever reason you do not want to carry on in that vehicle or the, the place you want to actually go is just too compact, maybe down a cave. So you need something to transport you to your destination. This kind of gives you the ability to really enjoy and feel the environment more than you would when you're 6,000 feet above it, you know? You're right there, you're down at the base, and you can touch and see and smell everything around you. So what did we learn this week? Well, we learned that refueling brings with it a new journey towards additional support mechanics in Star Citizen's persistent universe. That it's time to dust off your Starfare ahead of the next big race like the Stand-In 7 or the Daymar Rally. And that the Hover Quad is here to expand the universe's Gravelove offerings. Now, don't forget that Xenothread is returning. Check out the recently published This Month in Star Citizen post on the robertspaceindustries.com website for details on everything that's happening in February. And tune into Twitch tomorrow to see Director of Graphics Engineering, Ali Brown, discuss all things graphical on Star Citizen Live tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific. For Inside Star Citizen, I'm Jared Huckabee. We'll see you all next week. <laughs>